Hey guys, Mighty here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best export settings for YouTube using DaVinci Resolve 16. This will include both the free and the paid version, so one end is going to utilize your CPU if you use the free version, and the other one's going to utilize your graphics card or your GPU uh, in the paid version. So. With that said, we have a video here that is about 36 seconds long. So we're gonna go ahead and export this. So I'm gonna go to the Deliver tab. Now, when I've tested out a bunch of these quality options, you can upload directly to YouTube using 1080p and it will create a local file on your machine. I would not recommend using like the YouTube option for like client work because the YouTube video will come out a little artifacty on your machine and then on YouTube it gets compressed even more so it looks a little worse, but that's just how YouTube is. So after doing a lot of testing, if you do want to upload 1080p 60 frame rate video to YouTube, feel free to use the YouTube 1080p option. I'll be using this option pretty much 99% of the time when I use DaVinci Resolve for YouTube work. So from here, we're gonna go to file name. I have it set to untitled, location. You can set whatever location on your drive for saving your video. Resolution is 1920 by 1080. The frame rate is set to 60. The format, I select MP4 over QuickTime. QuickTime makes the videos pretty big. So you wanna use MP4 here. Uh, H.264 is the codec type if you're on the free version of davinci resolve native totally works just fine or if you want the export to be faster you could use the nvidia graphics card in my case i have the paid version of davinci so i get access to the nvidia graphics card you guys may not have type listed here so if you're on the free version it's just going to be straight up using your cpu audio is set to main audio codec is aac Data burn-in is same as project, and I have it checked to upload directly to YouTube. Now, like I said, it's gonna make a local file on your machine first, wherever you specified in your location, and then it's gonna upload that video directly to your YouTube. If you don't have your YouTube linked, you'll wanna make sure you go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, and then here under Internet Accounts, you'll wanna link your YouTube account there. That way, when you select Add to Render Queue, You'll have your render here and then you click start render it'll not only save the video to your machine but it will also upload it to youtube this way under private and under the category gaming now if you want to save a video to your machine locally with just absolutely amazing quality then what you're going to do is you're going to select the custom option or i guess in this case select the h.264 master option that way we can customize it same thing, file name, untitled, whatever you wanna name it. Give a location on your machine to save it to. Format, like I said, I prefer MP4 over QuickTime. MP4 is just, to me, a great format. Codec is H.264. You're not gonna have access to the encoder option if you are on the free version of DaVinci. So, by default, you're gonna be using the CPU. I've noticed that the CPU doesn't exactly provide great looking video. It does artifact a little bit. So if you do use the CPU, just keep that in mind. I've tried to find ways to improve the quality off CPU encoding, but I haven't really found any, any workarounds. I don't know, I think this is a problem with the DaVinci software. So maybe in a future update, they may address how, uh, how bad the quality looks when you use the CPU. So otherwise, resolution is 1920 by 1080, frame rate is 60. Quality automatic, you know, I keep this at best. I think it looks great. You can always restrict 1080p footage to say 30,000 bit rate, if you so please. If you have 2K video, you can make it 60,000 bit rate. Or if you have 4K video, uh, restrict the bit rate to 100,000. By default, uh, DaVinci pretty much makes the quality about 22,000 bit rate if you have it set to best for 1080p footage. And it tends to not really look any different than when you restrict the bit rate. Not, there, I haven't really seen too much of a difference there. Otherwise, everything else is normal here. Now, since I have access to the NVIDIA encoder, that's what I'm gonna be using primarily to export my videos. So I select NVIDIA encoder. This is if you have the paid version. Everything's the same, 1920 by 1080, frame rate 60. Quality, best, looks great to me. If I were to shrink this to say 30,000, I wouldn't really notice too much of a difference here. Quality, automatic, best, looks absolutely great for NVIDIA encoded video. Rate control, I have mine set to VBR high quality. Epos Vox, for some reason, has his set to constant QP. 
I don't know why he does that. I personally, to me, this artifacts the video much worse, like than like the native encoder, which is crazy. So, if you were to use your CPU to encode your video, it would actually look better than when you use the NVIDIA Constant QP option. So, I would highly recommend you use the VBR high quality stands for variable bitrate. This way your video will use more bitrate to make certain parts of your video that are moving fast look better. And then other parts of your video that are moving slow, it won't use as much bitrate. So that way your video will actually come to a good solid size, you know, upon your export. You can go to the advanced settings as well. You could use optimized media and use render cached images if you wish. Uh, I don't personally because different resolutions on your timeline and then coming to the export can actually mess with your uh, your quality through the optimized and the and the cached media. So I wouldn't do that. So anyways, the Nvidia encoder does export fast anyways by itself. So this is what I use personally. Make sure your audio is set to codec, AAC. Everything here should be relatively straightforward. Just don't mess with anything. Uh, and that's about it. So yeah, guys. You could add this to your render queue and that is it. You can render out this video and pretty much, yeah, you can have a great looking video sent to YouTube. Now, if you guys like this export option here and you don't want to go through and, and change these settings every single time, you can go up here, you can click save as new preset off those three little dots. And then you can enter a preset name such as NVIDIA 1080p or something. And you click okay, then over here, Whenever you select the drop down, you can select NVIDIA 1080p or whichever whichever option you have set here. Uh, and then that way, every time you go to export, your options are literally gonna be the same every time. So you go over here to the export, you click on the drop down menu, you select your preset, then you name your file and you specify a location. So anyways, that is the best export settings for DaVinci Resolve 16. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something from it. As always, don't forget to rate and subscribe and also comment if you have any questions. I'll be sure to answer them in the comment section below. With that said, I hope you all enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.